Okay, hello everybody. Today's review is this lovely German bunker, 135th scale by Five Star Models out of China. Uh, I couldn't find a copyright date on this. Uh, I looked on the, the website they actually have. They don't even have this product listed anymore. They do a lot of naval models and parts and such and so on. So uh, I have no idea whatever else is going on with this model. Uh, but here I am taking it out of the box, taking it out of the wrap. And as you'll see in a few seconds here, I was rather surprised to see that this is one piece of solid plaster. There's no extra parts to it, which is good. I mean, everything's there. Everything, you know, you don't have to worry about it actually fitting together. Watch me. Okay, let's get the wrap off here. Let's see, take it out. Solid piece of plast uh, plaster. Uh, I ordered these from eBay a long time ago and uh, nothing got cracked or anything. There's no pieces hanging off of it. I'm rotating it. You can see the detail. I mean it's not super close but you can see that it's got the slits with machine guns. It's got the wall on the side a lot of bunkers had. Um, a lot of brick detail. A lot of uh, detail in the creases where they build up the concrete walls. Um, it looks really good. It's solid and heavy. Uh, you can see it's about uh, maybe an inch thick. There's a 132nd scale figure right there. Maybe it's an inch high off the table there. So you can kind of integrate it into your groundwork or whatever. Some 135 figures. So I think they'll work with, uh, oh, they'll work well with either kind of figure, you know. There's a lot of opportunities to modify these. You know, put in a little rebar, you know, battle damage. You know, I mean, they would look great, like, on, like, a beach for D-Day. Or the box actually says bunker, bunker for Siegfried Line. So maybe they had those kind of bunkers, too. Um, here I am measuring it. It's about 4 inches by 6 inches, roughly. But it is solid plaster. So, I mean, I'm not sure what kind of plaster, but it feels pretty heavy. So maybe they used a specialized kind of plaster that's not real brittle, which is good. I mean, even if you drop it, I'm just, you, know, you can just glue it back together. Um, basically, it's, it's a well-made item. Um, there's probably tons of things you can do with it. You know, put it like actual, like, you know, on D-Day or, you know, American troops clearing it, German troops, you know, defending it. After D-Day, you know, 50 years after D-Day, it's all overgrown and everything like that. So this is pretty much a good good deal to get. Um, the actual price on the box said like 30 bucks, but I'm sure you can find that different places lower or maybe get a good deal on eBay. So if you're looking for a bunker, this is a solid buy. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.